have in unit one, our last lesson for the unit, is about simplifying expressions. And for this, we are going to formally investigate monomials. We've talked about these before, but now we're going to do a little bit more math with them. So a monomial is an expression consisting of a constant, constant just being a number attached to a variable or just a plain old number, consisting of a constant or a number multiplied by one or more variables. Okay, the word is variables. Okay, so for this, we are just going to be condensing some of these expressions to make sure that they are in their simplest form. In the most general sense, we are putting numbers with numbers and letters with letters. Okay, when we have two expressions in parentheses next to each other, we know that that means multiplication. 8 times 5 is 40. At this point, we are just collecting pieces that belong together. A, there's one of them here, and four of them here, making a total of five A's. B to the second, B to the third, two of them, and three of them also makes five of them. So we have 40, A to the fifth, B to the fifth. For B, 13 and 2, 13 times 2 is 26 x to the fourth, x to the first, makes it x to the fifth. I have negative two y's and eight y's making six y's, okay? So it should feel very familiar to you. Um, we are definitely going to be flexing our exponent rules for sure, and just making sure that we are keeping track of our constants, okay? So for these, we know that fractions aren't scary. Fractions are really just division. So we have division happening here. For C, we have 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay? If I have 5x's on top and 1x on bottom, that will make one of the x's cancel, four of them remain, and those extras are on the top. Y's, there's four on top and three on bottom three would cancel and one would be left on the top. I put that one there, you know you don't have to if you don't want to. For D, 30 divided by five is six. Y's, I have two of them on top and five of them on bottom. Two of them would cancel and three of them would be left, but the leftovers are on the bottom because there's more Y's on the bottom than the top. Z to the sixth and Z to the second, two would cancel, four would be left, and those leftovers are on the top. So make sure we're paying attention to where our uh, pieces belong after our canceling or simplifying. 24 over 18, that's not simple division, but it is a fraction that can be reduced. 24 over 18, both those numbers can be divided by six, so we reduce the fraction to four over three x to the 0 is eliminated because that means we have 0 x's. So we can ignore that entirely. That's like saying we have none of them. So that just means there's 3 x's on the bottom untouched, unchanged. At this point, I have negative 2 y's on top and negative 1 y on bottom. This is kind of cumbersome to look at, so let's try and simplify it. We know that when the exponents are negative, we need to change their location. So in order to make them positive, if I have negative one y on the bottom, that's a positive one y on top. If I have a negative two amount of y's on top, that's a positive two on the bottom. One y on top and two y's on bottom, one will cancel, one will be left, and that extra is also on the bottom, so we have four over three x to the third, y to the first. Do you have to put that one there? No, if you want to, yes, okay? When we have problems like f and g, everything inside the parentheses is going to be repeated. In this case, it's being repeated two times. So that's like saying I have two of them. So you can do three x to the fourth, y, times 3x to the fourth y. 
numbers with numbers, 3 times 3 is 9. 4x is here, 4x is here, that gives us 8x's, and a y and a y makes 2 of them. 9x to the 8th, y to the 2nd. For g, this is to the 3rd. If you don't want to write them out 3 times like we did here, you have another option. So let me follow that other method for you here. Everything inside the parentheses is going to be uh, duplicated three times. So instead of saying this whole thing is to the third power, we can make each individual piece be to the third power. So two to the third times a to the second to the third times b to the fifth to the third and simplify it that way. If you don't like this, you can stick with doing it this way. 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. A to the 2nd to the 3rd is like saying I have 3 groups of 2 A's. 3 groups of 2 makes 6. B to the 5th to the 3rd, that's 3 groups of 5, that makes 15 B's. Okay? So here you have a choice which method you like. You can use both at different occasions or you can choose a favorite and use that every time. That's totally up to you, okay? Couple more here with our square roots. First things first, you remember when we were doing roots before, we need to make sure that we are keeping track of how many we need in a group. So if it's just a plain old square root, we know we're looking for groups of two. For instance, the square root of nine a group of three, so the square root of nine is three. X to the eighth, if you have eight X's, how many pairs of X's is that? That is four pairs of X's, okay? But like that one cleans up real neat, that might not always be the case. Remember, if you have leftovers, that's okay. They just stay underneath the radical sign. So here for this one, what's the square root of 16? Four. how many pairs of x's do I have if I have six x's? That's three pairs. And 10 y's makes five pairs of y's. Hopefully that makes sense. Here for j, we're looking for groups of three, the third root of 64. 64 is eight times eight. 8 is 2 times 4, 4 is 2 times 2, again 8 is 2 times 4, 4 is 2 times 2. Look at all of our pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we are looking for groups of 3, we have 3 groups, or we have 2 groups, 2 groups of 3 twos. Two groups of three twos. That makes two twos, right? If I'm looking for groups of three, how many groups of three can I make with 12 A's? How many groups of three can I make with 12 A's? That's four. How many groups of threes can I make with three B's? One, and we can clean that up. Two times two is four. So we have four, A to the fourth, B to the first, if you want to put that one there. You don't have to. Okay. The last one here. This is the fourth group. We're look, fourth group. We're looking for groups of four. How many groups of four can I make with eight x's? Two. How many groups of four can I make with twenty y's? Five. How many groups of four can I make with four z's? One. Okay. These take practice. These are lots of rules. That's why we kind of taught them in chunks. Watch old videos. Rewatch this video as necessary. And don't be afraid to get it wrong, okay? These have to be practiced. And in order to practice, you have to try, okay? You can do it. I'm going to be back before you know it.